Those young people who signed up with the armed forces were considered Tan Kya Peng. I don't know whether you understand the Hokkien term. That means, you know, if you cannot find a job, the SAF will employ you. As long as you are physically fit. I still remember the neighbours complaining to my mother and saying, why did your son, he's educated, why did he go and sign up with the armed forces? So they had a very low opinion of the Singapore armed forces. And I can still remember when I was working, doing training and working also in Tengah Air Base. I stay at home, I'll wear civilian clothes, go to the camp, then change to my military uniform. Because we were quite ashamed to wear our uniform and travel in public transport. Because of the image. The image. And then when we finish our work, we change back to civilian uniform and came back home. There was a common practice among, among all the SAF personnel. But when I stayed in Barak, that was a different story, you know. So it took some time and slowly, because the people of Singapore were totally against this concept of national service and uh, also the armed forces. So it took time, but today you see it's totally reversed. Everybody has tremendous respect for the armed forces and they also know the value of the Singapore armed forces. So we've come to a stage that there's no problem of any Singaporeans to be trained to use the latest weapons in the market. We are not a threat to any countries. We're a small island. But unfortunately, I can't say the same thing, you know. I can tell you something sensitive, but I don't know how, whether you would be able to think. Had it not been for the SAF, we would have been invaded. I'm very positive about that. When uh, Lee Kuan Yew had a very trying relationship with our, uh, some of the neighbours. And there is one exercise I can never forget. They had an exercise few days before uh, August 9 National Day. The exercise title was Pukol Mati. And the exercise culminated in an airborne drop in Kota Tinggi. Okay. Pukol Mati, you know, means beat to death. Well, Thai SF went on alert. The airborne exercise can be shifted from Kota Tinggi to Singapore. Possibility. So we, we went on alert. But over the years, I think neighboring countries also knew leave Singapore alone. As I said, live and let live, you know. Thank God. I mean, look at this island now. The best island in the world. We have a strong armed forces. We have a strong home team that allowed ordinary Singaporeans to go about doing their work without being robbed or killed. We have a very strong currency. As you can see, what's happening in our neighboring countries or even other countries. And we have a society which the government has created to help the less well-endowed people. Also. And that's how you know, the self-help groups and that's how I came in as a volunteer to Sindhu.